Hey, so I made a bullet shell necklace as a gift for a customer of mine. Um, I, she's been wanting me to make it for ages, but um, I made it in art school where I had all their proper jewelry making equipment and I didn't actually know if I could make it. So um, these were the pieces that I made uh, on the desk before <laughs> as a kind of trial to see what I could do so uh, sorry I'm a bit behind but I drilled a hole through it so that is what holds uh, the wire wrap, wire wrap that I will do after um, then I with a metal uh, like cutting disc in the Dremel cut the thin part of the bullet tip off so I could uh, stick a quartz crystal in there. I then used my bench grinder to sand, uh, not sand, kind of file the rough bits off and then use the hand files to make that nice and smooth. Um, I drew on a triple moon sign um, with permanent marker and then engraved it with this really cool retro engraver that I have. I wiped off the marker with metho and then put in acrylic paint. You're supposed to use uh, some sort of patina or um, metal kind of dye <laughs> for this process but i um, totally not a jewelry maker expert <laughs> or have any like those supplies at home. So um, I used the a car wax polish that I actually used to polish my resin to make the bullet shell nice and shiny. Um, oh yeah, and I just kind of polished one of her resin pieces <laughs> while I was at it um, on the back there. Um, so through the hole that I drilled that I didn't mention you need a special drill bit that goes through metal to do that. Um, I'm just wire wrapping uh, the loops here. Um, I like to put like a thin little pencil or anything to hold those, to make those loops nice and round. Um, and then I just got my uh, a stainless steel chain and uh, threaded it through and there's the necklace. Um, I didn't really, I wish I had a, a matching copper colour necklace to put through but next time so that's that oh, and I forgot to talk about how I um, put in the quartz crystal so with a two part uh, fast set super strong uh, epoxy glue I just uh, pretty much glued in the uh, quartz crystal it holds like 75 kilos so that's not coming out of there anytime soon so she liked it um it's really fun to make and i hoped you guys enjoyed the process it's very different from what i normally make